In this video, I'll show you how to fix your iPhone 16 Pro Max screen being unresponsive. You want to follow these tips and tricks to get it working again. So, first thing you usually want to do is make sure that there is no kind of dirt, dust, or oil on the screen. Wipe it down with a microfiber cloth, really getting anything out that could interfere with that touch itself. The next thing to consider is that if you recently put a new screen protector because you've got the new phone, sometimes screen protectors are not compatible or they're not adjusted correctly, so you might consider removing that screen protector if it's something that you notice after putting it on. Along with that, or if you have a special case, sometimes they can also interfere with the corners or the side of phone interfering with your touch as well, causing screen to be unresponsive. Now after you follow this step, this is the steps you want to follow to go ahead and reset it. So first thing you're going to want to do is click and press and release the volume up and then press and release the volume down and then hold on to the side button until the screen goes black. So I'm going to do volume up, volume down and then I hold on to the side button. Now this is another force restart or reset. This will not delete any of your data. So all of your photos, videos, apps will still be on your phone. All I'm doing is basically having the phone shut down completely by forcing it to shut down and then reloading the code. When I see the Apple logo, I let go of that side button. You can do it as many times as you need to to ensure that it's not going to affect your phone. Again, it's just volume up, volume down. Important thing to do is quickly press and release the volume up and then volume down and then hold on to that side button until you get the phone to go back and reboot. And again, none of your data will be lost in this process. You can do it as many times as you need to. Now, one final thing to do is that after you have done that and you're still noticing maybe here and there it's unresponsive or causing any issues is that you're going to go into your settings, go to general and then go over to your iPhone storage, which is going to be right up here. And then you're going to ensure that you have enough storage with your bunch of apps, especially taking up a lot of your data. Sometimes when you don't have enough data, when you try to open up the app, they become frozen or stuck. And it seems like the screen is stuck. That's not the case. In the case that you don't have much space available, as you can see here, it'll tell you how much space you have. I have 495 gigs available, but if you're down to last couple gigs, Try deleting some stuff like apps that you don't use. Photos and videos usually take up a lot of space. Just go down the list here. It's going to tell you what. Can be deleted or what's taking up the most space and that should also help. And with any other solution out there, it's always good to go ahead and update your phone to the latest version, especially with iOS 18 that came out. If you go into your settings general software update, there is a new update available at the time of recording that addresses things like camera freezing on the iPhone 16 Pro models, touchscreen issues where it's unresponsive in certain circumstances. So these things are being issued and even dot performance. So it's always good to update your phone to the latest iOS version to go ahead and fix those issues. If this tutorial was helpful, please let me know in the comments below this video and for more helpful tutorials, you can check the links in the description.